Hey, what's up, guys? We have a new Summer Banner trailer to watch. At least I think it's summer. It should be summer. But yeah, we got silhouettes last night, and it seemed pretty obvious that the one on the right was Niffle because of those weird, like, ear thingies. I don't know if they're her actual, like, ears or horns or something, or if it's just a headband. Doesn't matter. I think Niffle's pretty obvious, and for the left one, I saw a lot of people speculating Fjorm. I see more like Selena from Sacred Stones, but we already got a summer version of her, so can't be her. But if it is Fjorm, I do expect more OCs on this banner. There's only one OC that should be on this banner, and that's Sharena. You know, we have Sharena from that Cypher card. I'd love for them to add her to the game like that. And she's been neglected for so long. I think the last time we saw Sharena as a unit was three years ago on New Year's Alphonse, or maybe two years. It's been a long ass time. So would be very, very happy to see Sharena. If Niffle's there, I expect to see Moose Bell too. We'll just have to see. Maybe he'll be in a Speedo. And uh, I have nothing else to really say. I guess we could uh, check this thing out. Okay. Starting off. Oh! It's Erica! I like her so facial expression there. To choose from. It was hard to select okay, so well. Erica. Green Tome Flyer. So there's more Sacred Stones units on this banner, but who do we want? Maybe Marissa. He has a new PRFB skill because of the exclamation point. Okay. We'll check out the kits after. Next. Niffle. Okay, we expected that. <laughs> Wait, her, her ice cream is pissed. The sun here. <laughs> I like how she covers up because she's the ice queen or ice goddess, whatever. She hates the summer. I don't know why she has a summer ult. Presumptuous. Okay, yeah, the ice cream definitely gets mad. So this was the Fjorm silhouette? Oh, it's Leon! Okay, not Marissa. But that's okay. I like his necklace. He has a, he has a J.O. crystal. Okay, he's the three star for, I mean, he's the four star for sure. The demote. And wow, he is not nearly as stacked as Claude. That was a one-time thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, there's a really funny story I have to tell. I was talking to Glitter before the trailer dropped. She unfortunately couldn't make it tonight. But she said, I think she called this. She said Loki and Thor will be there for cheap fan service. And now they're a, a duo unit. Wow. Okay. And we'll check this after. All right. Who is the free unit gonna be? Will it be Sharena? Please. Oh, it's Seth. <laughs> okay. Hey, Seth needs an alt. Hopefully he gets some good art. Because, man, the original Seth just does not live up to his reputation. Anyway, Seth is going to be a horse axe unit. Okay. Hey, Seth and Erica, OTP. If you don't ship it, get out. So starting off, Erica is a green tome flyer. She's voiced by Kira Buckland, who has done these characters. And the artist is Awada Sachiko, the one and only. So yeah, the art's really clean, and I think her swimsuit's pretty nice with the frills. Lots of flowers, lots of clownfish. I wonder if she has clownfish in her special art. Okay, so she has some, like, warping shenanigans going on here. Starting off, Karen Conch. Accelerate special trigger cooldown minus one, so it's Slayer. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants five to all stats to unit during combat, neutralizes effects that prevent unit's follow-up attacks, and inflict special cooldown charge minus one on foe per attack. And also, after combat, if unit attacked, inflicts guard on target and foes within two spaces of target. How many effects have we gotten recently that are plus five to all stats during combat and neutralizes effects that prevent units follow-up attacks? It's getting kind of, kind of tired at this point. And she has Slayer too, which is also pretty tired. <laughs> but she has guard and some kind of form of, I guess it's like melancholy. I don't think it resets their cooldown, but it does apply guard, which is nice. She comes with Luna, Steady Impact. Moonlit Bangle F. Enables Canto 1. Okay, so she's going to have Canto on her weapon. 
Neutralizes effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit during combat. So she breaks through opponent's guard skills. Deals damage equals X percent of foe's defense when special triggers. Okay. So this is like the other bangle, I think on legendary Erica. It would scale off of the opponent's defense. X equals unit's max special cooldown count value times 10 plus 20. Okay, so I think with Slayer, the most you could get from this is 40% plus the 20. So 60% of your foe's defense will be dealt as true damage? It just says deals damage, so I think it's true. But correct me if I'm wrong. Having that on a Tome user, she targets res anyway, so she's going to rip through high defense and low res units like crazy. And she comes with attack speed oath 4, which is surprisingly new. At start of turn, if unit is within two spaces of an ally, grants attack speed 6 and the following status to unit for one turn. Unit can move to a space adjacent to any ally within two spaces. If unit is within two spaces of an ally, grants attack speed plus 3 to unit during combat. But yeah, I think that's a pretty good C skill. It's hard to say who the best flying tome user is right now. I want to say it's Atri. We'll see if she can compete. Okay, she does have Clownfish in her special art. Okay, we have Niffle, a colorless dragon calf. So I think the original Niffle is blue. It's kind of reminiscent to Freya getting a summer alt and being colorless. She's voiced by Inaris Quinones, who has done these characters. And the artist is Suzuhito Yasuda, who I'm assuming did the original Niffle and probably Numuspell 2. I like the outfit. I think it's, it's pretty fitting considering who she is. Okay, so she has chilled breath. It has Slayer. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants attack speed plus 60 unit during combat, neutralizes effects that guarantee foes follow-up attacks, and prevents units follow-up attacks. So she has full null follow-up. And also, if unit speed is greater or equal to foe speed plus 5, foe cannot counterattack. Wow. That's a useful effect. She comes with Glimmer. Attack speed catch 4. SR near trace 3, which is apparently new. Hey, you know, maybe my uh, maybe my summer young Tiki could use this because I can only imagine it's useful on a dragon unit and they're only available to cav units and flyers. So beats me. That seems like a really niche one. And she has Domain of Ice, which was on her original form. So this was the damage reducing special. It's basically a mutual damage reducing drive skill. Very useful. I just like the ice cream. It's like all happy, and then when she specials, it gets like a pulsating vein. <laughs> all right, Leon, our demote. Leon is a sword infantry. Nice. Voiced by Mark Witten, who does Sedith. I know that. And these other characters. And the artist is Ho. How? H O U. I'm sorry, guys. All right, he's still rocking the purple motif. He has a nice amethyst necklace. A cool poncho with a gem. Very regal. Alright, he comes with a Coral Saber Plus. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants attack defense plus five to unit during combat, and unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. Wow, that's a that's a really nice inheritable sword. I imagine he's not going to be very fast because he comes with that. We'll have to see. He also has Moonbow, attack defense ideal three. Okay, and low attack defense three. Nice skill to have on a four star. Not really much interesting here, but I think that sword's pretty dang good. Anyway, Thor and Loki, very, very fan y OCs. I think they might have nerfed Thor's muscles. I don't remember if Thor has muscles. Not that I personally mind. I'm fine with it, but for those of you muscle lovers out there, sorry about that. It seems they did it to Altina last banner. There's a lot of people sad about the, the six-pack nerf. Anyway, she's a blue tome flyer, and they are voiced by Layla Burzens and Erika Ishii, who have done these roles. And the artist is Maishima Shigeki, who did, I think, most of the book two art, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, Loki has a, a ukulele. Looking at their kit, we got Divine Whimsy. It has Slayer on it. At start of turn, inflicts exposure. <laughs> okay. Exposure and stall on foes on the enemy team with the lowest speed and any foes within two spaces of those units through their next action. And also, if unit is within two spaces of an ally, grants special cooldown count minus one to unit. At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater or equal to 25%, grants
grants attack plus 60 unit and inflicts minus 6 attack on foe during combat. Alright, so these two effects, we got Exposure and Stall. Exposure, I think, is new. Nice name. Foe's attack deals plus 10 damage. Foe's attacks deal plus 10 damage. Why would you want that? Am I reading this right? So your opponent does 10 more damage? Okay, hey. I don't know if that's just worded weird or if that's... Maybe there's some weird reason you would want that. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Sorry about that. And she has stall. We had stall on stall ploy on pirate Isala, I think. So stall pretty much nullified any movement boosting skills. So if you got like plus one movement from something like odd tempest or even tempest, or maybe your weapon gave you more movement, it would kind of reverse it. So it looks like these two effects are global and whoever is the lowest speed on the opponent and any foes within two spaces of that lowest speed target get exposure and stall put on them. I still don't get the exposure thing, but it seems like he has a lot of utility in her weapon. We'll have to check out how this works in practice. She comes with Blazing Thunder, Stillwater 4, which was on Bride Lalina. AR Far Trace probably works really well. And Worldbreaker, which was on Thor. Grand Special Cooldown Charge, plus one per attack during combat to unit and allies within two spaces. I remember I kind of underestimated this ability, according to some people in the comments. I still don't know how great it is, but... I was, I was told it's way better than I think, so I, I'll take your word for it. So the duo skill inflicts gravity on foes in carnal directions of unit, neutralizes any bonus active on foes within five rows or five columns centered on unit, and does not neutralize. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, she really just keeps you in your place. I guess that's the Loki side of it. Very useful. And yeah, of course, Seth here. If I find his art before I post this video, I'll put it on the screen. I can't really tell what he's wearing. It's like... I think it's a lay, but it looks like a necktie. But who knows? Okay, am I pulling on this banner? I do think Loki and Thor have a very useful kit. And Erica and Niffle are probably pretty good too. But no, I'm probably going to save my orbs here. I mean, after that first part of summer, it's really hard to follow up. And they didn't put Shirena on the banner. So, yeah, sorry, IS. <laughs> but I hope you guys are excited for the banner. And if you're pulling for any of these characters, good luck. And yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's much else to say. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thank you. And until next time, Speedy Hawk out. Thanks, guys. Take it easy.